almost a year of planning. Fox 5's Enzo Marino is live now with more on this history making owner, Enzo. Yeah, and the owner was all smiles when we talked to him earlier today. He says going into it, he had no idea that he would be the first African-American in the state to own a 7-Eleven franchise. He says that came up when he was already working to open this location. I started asking around like other executives and they're like, yeah, I don't think that we have anyone else of color in that situation. You have a good one now. Hey, how are you? As Jonathan Lacey tends to his customers, the size of his accomplishment isn't lost on him. First for an African American in the state of Nevada, yes. Yes, it's kind of big, kind of big. Lacey's journey began about a year ago when he was looking to open a business. Eventually, he decided on this 7 Eleven. One thing led to another, and I got through another step, and another step, and another step, and then now I got the keys. He announced the grand opening of his black owned franchise on Twitter. It has since received 100,000 likes and more than 12,000 retweets. It almost brings me to tears every time I look at it. I'm like, wow. Getting the financing to open wasn't easy. A lot of people won't take that chance on you, especially being, you know, 30 years old and not, you know, having a, a huge million dollar mansion in my name. So he got the money together the old fashioned way by working and saving, ultimately opening his new business without a single cent from outside investors. What I did is just saved every dollar I got and I put everything I had towards it and, um, you know, my family, you know, came together, gave me jobs here, gave me jobs there just to keep going. Lacey says he hopes his accomplishment will inspire other entrepreneurs to do the same. I hope at least some more businesses being opened by African Americans as well as you know, women and minorities and everybody. So hopefully we all could have, uh, you know, a hand in, you know, establishing ourselves. And there he is behind the counter working hard, not taking anything for granted. Also, if you're looking for a job, Lacey says he is hiring and he will look at any and all resumes that he gets. He says his goal going forward is to open three or four more 7-Elevens in Las Vegas. Reporting live, I'm Enzo Marino, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Very exciting. Thank you, Enzo. Well, as Las Vegas continues to make its comeback, an exciting addition to the Las Vegas Convention Center is...